dear Miss Donovan. How do I even start this? Um, perchance, do you have the ability to give me thine extension on my paper? No, to Shakespeare. Maybe she'll like it. Hey. I'm um, just... Yeah, I didn't... I didn't get the paper done in time. It's... Oh, boy. Yeah. It's crazy. What's wrong? You're upset? What's wrong? They said what? Really? They did? Were these co-workers, classmates of ours? <laughs> Some of both. Oh, there's so much. There's so much that I want to say right now, but I can't. You know they're wrong, right? No, don't, don't you start. Don't you start. They are wrong. You are amazing. There is so much about you that I completely admire. You're going to test me right now. Like what? So much. You have an incredible work ethic. You're pretty smooth with the opposition, if you know what I mean. You have this amazing sense like, every time I'm upset, you can somehow figure it out. Even though I am pretty sure I'm pretty good at hiding my emotions, so, uh, explain that one to me. Come on. You're really gonna be like this? You're gonna pout and be mad? Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. First of all, you are enough how you are. I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care if it's your boss, your co-workers, your classmates. I don't care. This is me we're talking about. I care about you. And I care that you understand that you are a confident, handsome-tacular, fantastic-looking person. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I was gonna say handsome and then spectacular, but you got handsome-tacular. So, I can, I can see it in your eyes. I'm not getting through to you, am I? No, don't eat. No, yeah, me. No, I'm not getting through to you. You don't believe it in your head. So, we're gonna sit here and keep doing this while I sit. Uh, you know what? Let me read you a page out of my book. It's called Bone by Jeff Smith. Let's see. Out from Boneville. Chapter 1. The Map. This book is for Faishaya. I feel like I said that wrong. There it is. There was a smile. You're gonna hide it now. You know, get out of here. Get out of here with that. Get out of here. Still no sign of the town's people. Hey, you hear that, phony? The coast is clear. Look at him. We got chased out of Boneville over two weeks ago, and he's still moping around. Oh, well, I guess you can whine all you want. When you're the richest guy in the whole town. Ah, uh, oops, silly me. X richest. Oh, what a legend. What an absolute legend. You remember back in middle school when we read this? You didn't have this problem then. And guess what? You've only grown since then. You've only gotten better as a person. Think of where you were in 6th grade. All these inappropriate jokes were funny, and sure, they're still funny, but at an elevated level now. 
yeah, you can have some gameplay. Maybe your attention span is shortened a little bit. You're not reading as much. Who cares? You don't have to be this mystical version where you're super jacked. You read a lot. You read nonfiction. You read self-help books. You watch every single movie and TV show that comes out. You don't need to be any of that. Who you are right now, that's it. That's all I ask of you. What about other people? How do I put this? Gently. Almost didn't do it gently. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. It only matters what you think of you. This thing, this thing right here, this brain of yours, it is the most important tool that you have or you could ever ask for. Why? Because it's what shows you that you are the perfect person just how you are. If you don't believe me, ask your other friends. I'm just the one that's being forward about it. Other people won't tell you this, but you really seem like you need someone to tell you right now. Trust me, I know how bad it can feel when nobody appreciates you, nobody appreciates your hard work, nobody acknowledges any of it, but guess what? You just be you. You like anime? Like anime. You like movies? You like reading? You like, I don't know, what else is there? Sports? Amazing that I can only think of four things, but you like any of that? You do you. I like movies, TV, anime, and sports. Which of those do you like? And what else do you like? <laughs> exactly. I knew. Alright. Don't throw that back at me. <laughs> no. No, don't you bring them into this. Don't you bring them into this. That is, that's not fair. That's not fair. But you're, you're smiling. You're joking. That's good. That means you're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. This, the two of us. I remember. <laughs> I remember when we were younger. Younger, jeez. And, uh, you... You stuck up for me. Yeah. Uh, seventh grade. Michael Wazowski. Yeah. He was being super mean to me on the playground, you know? We were just out there chilling, having lunch, you know? Typical seventh grader things. And he came over and started pushing me calling me names, and you stuck up for me. There were over 20 people around us, and you're the only one that did that. We've been friends since the first grade. I've been friends with a lot of people, but none of them range back that far except for you. And look at this. I'm still here. You're still here. We are absolutely thriving. I know it doesn't seem like it now. I know it doesn't seem like it now. But trust me when I say we are absolutely on the right track. We're not on the exact same track, but our paths are clearly parallel. So we will forever be walking buddies down this weird thing we call life. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, you're feeling better. I was gonna have to use some duct tape on you, but looks like that won't be a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, just, uh, getting some chapstick. What, you don't use chapstick? Get out of here. With how good you look, you don't use chapstick. 
I'm jealous. I'm real jealous. You stop that, you stop looking so great. Don't smile. You're not allowed to smile, remember? Remember how you started this? You were upset, you were sad, because of some nobodies that called you mean names. And guess what? Look where we are. They weren't right. But who was? Come on, say it. Who was right? <sighs> Make me blush. I was right. And you're right for saying that, but you, my friend, <sighs> what am I going to do with you? What are you going to do without me? <laughs> That's a better question. I gotta get some food, man. I call everybody, man, relax. This is such a good book, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I was actually on my way to the library to return it. Or, <laughs> before you came, that is. Yeah, I heard the I heard the librarian's really nice. Yeah, you wanna you wanna head out? Come with me. <laughs> Say less. All right. Ah, got my keys. Got my wallet. <sighs> Library card is in the wallet for once. I made that mistake many times, and I'm not gonna make it again. 27th time's a charm, am I right? You know, luckily it's only five minutes away. So. You sure you're okay? I'm worried about you. I know, I killed the, I killed the vibe. But I'd rather kill the vibe than you go on without saying something. So, I mean, we don't have to talk about this if you don't want to. It is completely up to you. Alright, we'll talk later. I'm gonna hold you to that. Alright. Is my, is my library card in my wallet? Oh, jeez. Thank you. Whew. That would have been bad. See? Reliable. Trusting. Loyal. Honest. Amazing. I swear, we gotta get some food while we're out. It is ridiculous out here. You ready? Alright, let's hit it.